Okay, we continue render, going to the render. As you can see, it says here to click to begin interactive render. If you click, it means you click in a refresh and you can see uh, the render here. In a previous lesson, we talked about the uh, image and video properties. In this lesson, I want to explain camera properties and these lights. First, camera properties, very easy. Uh, most of them are not very useful but you can use it here is the uh, field of view it means if you increase this number you have more field for view if you have a lot of stage uh, room you can use the field of view but careful about the distortion as you can see if you give a higher number if you zoom as you can see we have a distortion here it looks like fish eye if you increase this number very high don't change them the scene view orientation it means it looks like this near and far clip it means if you far from this number it will be disappear the model as we can see or if you go near more than this number it will be disappear also but uh, the physical camera properties is interesting if you turn it on a lot of settings will be appear don't have worry about that exposure I, uh, ISO F number shutter speed and white balance you can change them I don't want to talk about them but they are in a <clears throat> simple language they are just for lightening or darkening uh, the render scene okay they are, these are for you can change them uh, they change the uh, for example the lights go into the camera and the change the light of that but the important interesting thing here is a uh, uh, depth of field for example we are here and as you can see for example we want to focus in this part of the model and other part will be blur this is on depth of field you can turn it on and instead of changing the focus and number here that you know that now you don't know that number here is a focus by left click if you turn on as you can see the most is uh, looks like this and just you click for, for example here for activating that you have to stop it and then refresh it as you can see uh, it's it's in our focus and other parts of uh, the model will be blur as you can see <clears throat> and we focus on this head this is depth of field that you want this is on camera it's an easy we are going to light sitting if you turn on the to click on the light sitting uh, as you can see if you close them you can see this is an, a ground shadow as you can see if you want to turn it on you can turn the ground shadow and okay we have an infinite ground that you can see the ground shadow here if you want okay uh, this is a ground shadow and you can change the intensity if you want the doom light as you can see the first light in a scene is a doom light it's a doom like a, like a hemisphere that's uh, create the lights of for example in this direction with the hdri image it's interesting for example if you click on here and uh, choose one of our hdri as you can see this is on one of hdr if you want to see the hdr in the background here you can show it show it on as you can see this is our hdri it's very big but you can see it in a uh, around this and here you can change any hdri that you want and you can change the light distribution if you want okay this that's it the, uh, you can turn off the ground shadow to see better your hdrr image for example we are in this area okay this is an hdri if you want to use it i want don't want to show it you can turn it off and turn the ground shadow or you can import your stage from here okay as you can see so we have a doom that you can change its in intensity here if you want to more light from the hdri source 
you can change the intensity one it means it's exactly uh, the light source this is an hdri this is hdrr or a high dynamic range image that's uh, distributed as you can see we have a shadow in all the way it means the source light is <clears throat> come from anywhere in hdri okay uh, you can change the angle of the hdri that it can rotate the hdri you can show it turn it this off as you can see it's rotate okay the, uh, the hdri rotate and the, <clears throat> the light distribution will be change okay that's nice i don't want to show it and turn it off and here you can turn it off activate you can deactivate the hdr as you can see we have no light source here everything is off and you can turn off the yeah i want to show it and if you don't want a background you can come here and change the background off transparency as you said before okay now this is a doom light okay if you want to insert a light you can insert a light here we have a doom light before you cannot <clears throat> insert two doom light if you click it as you can see the current scene already has a doom light here you can um, create your light rectangle right here is our rectangle in a 3d you can bring it up and as you can see this is our rectangle light you can rotate it position it and this is a direction of the rectangle light if you click it as you can see uh, we have a nice if you want to don't show it in a 3d or 2 you can deactivate it here but we need it you can bring it them up in its settings you can change intensity if you want to double it or increase or decrease the number here you can change the, its color and you can change the widths and heights of this and if you want to deactivate it or activate it if you go to the light setting as you can see we have a doom light rectangle light number one it is here okay you can uh, bring it there and deactivate it or you can delete it if you want if you select it you can delete it another light that you can see insert is a sphere light so it's a point light actually it's very nice you can insert it anywhere in your mm, character here you can change the intensity for example 10 uh, you can change the color here for example you can change it to the light yellow yeah light yellow you can change your radius that you want here you can show this uh, light in a scene or off or on just show this sphere on or off interesting you can select it in a 3d and delete it okay just move a scene to refresh it uh, another light is direction light it is interesting as you can see this is a directional light in one direction and here that you can change it, this direction light any oh, direction that you want it's a nice render i love it example in this direction nice this is an just directional light with a sharp shadow that you want to use it in your scene you can delete it and just click to refresh it or stop and then refresh another light is spotlight this is a like this you can bring it there this is a, a spotlight as you can see okay for better understanding this i turn it off and you can insert your stage or you can go to the 2d pattern and draw a rectangle for your uh scene for example like this create a rectangle of fabric there it's very huge nice you can bring it there assign a simple fabric and freeze it for freeze it in its position <clears throat> then can come here and control c control v yep it's going there you can rotate it 
and then bring it there if you want okay you can bring it more and here we have a simple stage for our render and here we can refresh it to better see that okay nice you can you can rotate it because we have a stage you can go to the light sitting and the ground shadow turn it off and now we want to study this spotlight and as you can see this is a spotlight okay it's very nice this isn't like a spotlight you can change its intensity you can change it the color you can change the coin angle for example to the 19 degree you can increase it uh penumbra angle here is for example as you can see this is sharp if you increase the number as you can see we have a very smooth uh this uh, area for coin as you can see this is a sharp and you can add a number to smooth smooth it if you want here you can coin angle to d as you can see we have a smooth and the shadow radius as you can see we have a sharp shadow radius you can change the shadow radius to number to make the shadow more softer here you can activate it and show or delete that okay interesting click it to refresh it another interesting light is ies engineering light that you can bring it for example here to see its effects this is an these are is light uh here you can change intensity in lumen specified or you can insert a custom lumen here for yourself but these are engineering in ies we have lots of ies light that you can choose them and use them in your scene interesting for example here nice you can light your scene with the is light okay now you learn these this lighting they are very uh, interesting and easy and as you can see the light uh, the render is nice and that's it these are all about render you can practice and make your scene beautiful hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release